Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a dominating team in the Monotype Cup that helped me go 20-5 and five on the day and climb well over 200 ELO. The team stars Shadow Dawnfan, which I believe to be the single most underrated Pokemon in the Monotype Cup meta. Basically, about half of teams currently are running either Kanto Muck or Kanto Grimer, and then a Pokemon weak to fighting, and that core gets torn to shreds by Shadow Dawnfan. Shadow Dawnfan is an absolute beast in this meta, and this team can help you climb. So without further ado, let's up into the matches and check out Shadow Dawn Fan destroying the Monotype Cup. Hopping into the first match, picking up a great lead, Shadow Dawn Fan into Umbreon, opponent save switches into Grimer, and we found the exact core that we're looking to destroy. Body Slam connects, that gets them low, I farm up energy with the Dawn Fan, and now I'm going to absorb their energy onto my Umbreon. Umbreon is a beast in this meta. Umbreon functions very well on this team as a third, fourth, and sometimes even fifth shield just with its ability to tank charge move at the charge move. And on top of that, it's really nice to have a hard check to a Kofagree safe switch. I'm farming up quite a bit here, going for the foul play, and foul play will be lethal. Opponent sends back in Umbreon, and as you can see, I am running Last Resort. I thought about TMing to Psychic, but I ended up really liking Last Resort as I ran into a lot of Umbreon mirrors. Opponent is going to send in their final Pokemon, which is revealed to be Shadow Kanto Ninetales. I'm firing off the foul play. That will be shielded, and now I can send in Kanto Muck. Kanto Muck is an incredibly effective pick, as outside of Dawnfan, it really doesn't have a lot of checks. I say that as it takes an overheat to the face and gets absolutely destroyed, but hey. Either way, Muck quite good, but Shadow Dawnfan definitely the star of the show. I'm able to get all shields here, Umbreon makes the last second last resort as well. If you can only get to one move, last resort does do ever so slightly more damage. They're gonna send in Umbreon, I still have two shields, and the Shadow Dawn fan. They banked a decent amount of energy on the Ninetales, so I do have to save at least one shield. They go for the foul play. They're firing off another charge move, and I'm gonna let this go. I know that Umbreon does not hit very hard, so I will be able to absorb that, and now I can get to the Earthquake. Shadow Earthquake from Dawn fan hits extremely hard. That's gonna KO the Umbreon. In comes the Ninetales, and I just have to hope the Ninetales does not have back-to-back -back moves. They go for the Weather Ball. They do not have a second move, and that's a good game. We see same leads again in the next match, Shadow Dawn Fan into Umbreon. An opponent is staying in this matchup, which is really good for us. They try and catch a Body Slam onto Kofagrigus. I'm gonna farm up to the Earthquake, and we have the perfect response to a Kofagrigus safe switch with Umbreon. Umbreon has an absolutely dominating matchup here, resisting everything that this Kofagrigus could possibly throw. Kofagrigus is going to be firing off Shadow Ball after Shadow Ball in this matchup, and it's the Umbreon, I want to try and farm up to back-to-back -back moves before I go for the second foul play to KO. If possible, I do want to try and leave with some energy so I can threaten whatever my opponent decides to bring in, even if it is just their own Umbreon. I go for the foul play, that will be lethal opponent, is going to send in the Umbreon, and now we get to learn, are they running Last Resort, or do they have Psychic? Last Resort is going to connect onto the Umbreon, I'm farming up, and I'm just going to no shield here, I don't really have a desire to shield my Umbreon, my opponent is running Last Resort, I'm farming up, making it to another Last Resort, but unfortunately I do lose CMP, that is a bit unfortunate, but I am running the rank 1 Umbreon. I can now send in Dawn Fan, and I could go straight for the Earthquake, but the safer play is to go double Body Slam. Body Slam is going to get him low. I'm going for Body Slam number 2. A little bit of lag there. I did have quite a bit of lag in my sets today, but it really still didn't stop the team from just being an absolute monster. They have a Grand Bull in the back, and you already know the game is over. Body Slam gets the shield. In comes the Muck, and the opponent concedes a match. Hopping into the next match, we see a tough lead Shadow Dawnfan into Kofagrigus. Kofagrigus is one of the few things that Dawnfan does not appreciate seeing in this meta. I'm going to save switch into the Muck, because Muck does have Dark Pulse, which is a nice coverage move to hit the coffin. They go for the Shadow Ball, and now they're going to send in Umbreon. Nice play by my opponent, as I'm forced to go for the Thunder Punches, and Thunder Punch just does absolutely nothing here. My opponent is looking to massively overfarm with their Umbreon, potentially even looking for a Snarl farm down. Thunder Punch is going to connect. My opponent continuing to farm, and they are well over 100 energy, so they're just looking to leave with energy that they can use to threaten the Dawn fan. But honestly, I'm just not going to let that happen. I'm just going to bring in my own Umbreon. Odds are they blind through the foul play here, which they did, and now we'll see. Do they actually have Last Resort, or are they running Psychic? 
I'm not going to shield no matter what. And it turns out they are running Psychic on their Umbreon, which is terrific news for me, as their energy just goes absolutely nowhere. They're firing off foul play after foul play, and I'm finally going to go for the last resort just so I can make sure to get rid of that Umbreon. We'll have to see what do they have in the back. They have double in the back, and it looks like, unfortunately, my opponent just has me hard countered. I go for the foul play, send in the Shadow Dawn fan. They bring back in Kofagrigus. Unfortunately, my Body Slam and my counters are double resisted here, but an Earthquake would one shot. I bait with the Body Slam and I get the shield. That's big. Opponent is going to be firing off Dark Pulses here, looking to grab shields back. My goal is I'm going to double bait. I want to try and grab the shields and then make it to the Earthquake to get rid of the coffin. I'm firing off the Body Slam bait and they shield again. That is huge as now I will be able to hang on and make the last second Earthquake here. I shield at the last second. We get to the Earthquake, and not only do we get rid of the Kofagrigus, we'll get valuable counter damage onto the Dub Wolf. In comes the Dub Wolf. They take a lot of damage to do so, and Umbreon should be in a good spot to close out this game. Dub Wolf firing off a Body Slam. That's going to connect onto the Umbreon. Umbreon makes it to the last resort. Is this going to be enough to KO? It's going to be very close. Last resort takes down the Dub Wolf, and that's a good game. Speaking of Dub Wool, we see it on the lead in the next match. Great lead for Shadow Dawn fan, and they're staying in. Unfortunately, the game lagging quite a bit as they're going to fire off the Body Slam. But Shadow Dawn fan was just absolutely core breaking teams to shreds. They go for a Body Slam catch onto Kofagrigus. And again, I'm just going to take that opportunity to farm up a ton of energy and then send in Umbreon. Umbreon being an absolute wall to save switch Kofagrigus definitely feels like an important part of this theme because a lot of people really like to get that energy advantage Kofagrigus and you can just completely shut it down with Umbreon. We've seen this before. They're going to fire off Shadow Ball after Shadow Ball and I'm going to very comfortably farm up to the back-to-back -back foul place here and make sure to get rid of the coffin. This way, I leave with energy so I can threaten the Dub Wool if they decide to bring it back in, as the Dub Wool is still pretty healthy. So I am going to be firing off the foul play here into the Dub Wool. Dub Wool is going to let that through. They're firing off a charge move. My switch timer is up, so if I want to, I can potentially choose to save the Umbreon. And I'll do exactly that, switching back into the Shadow Dawn fan and firing off the Body Slam. Body Slam will KO in the back. You guessed it. It's a muck. No baits here. I'm going straight for the Earthquake here. Do they respect the damage? They do. Opponent does respect the Earthquake. The good news is we still win. But man, I would have loved to see that Earthquake land. And now we have the Battle of Mucks. I can tank any one charge move here because they have very minimal fast move pressure. They go for the Thunder Punch, but they're going to need another charge move to land. And I have a move on Umbreon, so I can just go straight Thunder Punch here. Thunder Punch will be no shielded by my opponent, and I can just start using shields now. And honestly, at this point, I could probably commit to the farm down. Opponent realizes it, and they concede the match. We see yet another positive lead in the next match, Shadow Dawn Fan into Lickitung. Opponent save switches into Surfetched, and we have a great response available with Kanto Muck. Muck will be able to tank the Night Slash relatively easily, and I can look to overfarm, but the Surfetch gets the boost. You have got to be kidding me, as boosted counters, even though they're resisted, are definitely going to hurt here. Surfetched, firing off a charge move. I am going to match shields here, and I just want to try and get rid of the Surfetched, if at all possible. I'm looking for the farm down here, and I'm able to get the farm down with a sliver of HP remaining. Opponent sends in Lickitung. My guess is this is probably Lickitung Double Fighter, and they have something like a Machamp in the back. In that case, I'm going to put Umbreon on the Lickitung, and we see it is Shadow Machamp in the back. And this is where Donphan can shine. Donphan does have a bit of an energy lead, able to withstand those counters and make it to the back-to-back -back Body Slams, and that will secure the win. Body Slam number one gets the shield, and the Machamp champ is not able to farm down body slam ko's the machamp in comes the lickitung lickitung gets the farm down and concedes the match hopping into the next match we're gonna be fairly neutral lead shadow dawn fan into shadow nine tails the nice thing is dawn fan is able to outpace in this matchup making it to the body slam before they get to the weather ball shadow body slam does a ton of damage nine tails will commit the shield and now with the shield advantage i can send in muck Unfortunately, the game again lagging, but we're still able to get our poison jab through as they bait with the weather ball. And now my opponent is going to send in Shadow Dragonair. So it looks like they do not have a hard check to muck in the back. And if that's the case, then I may as well 
look to potentially flip switch. They're gonna fire off the body slam. I decide to commit the shield and fully commit to the farm down because this way I get to dictate how the rest of the game will go. We'll have to see what does my opponent have in the back. They're probably not sending in the nine tails and they send in Umbreon. Umbreon would have been a safer counter switch into the muck safe switch for my opponent, but honestly, I don't mind getting the Dragonair out of the way as Umbreon should be pretty manageable for me. Thunder Punch number two is going to connect. They now send in the Ninetales, and I'm just looking to get some Poison Jab damage onto the Ninetales and bring in Umbreon. Even if they overheat here, which odds are they probably are going to do, I'm able to tank that. Overheat does a lot of damage, but I will be able to hang on, and now I can fire off the Foul Play. Opponent will commit the final shield. They are trying to get rid of my Umbreon. They make a last second charge move here. Is it going to be the debuffed overheat? No, it is just a Weather Ball. I send in the Shadow Dawn fan, and I snipe. In comes the Umbreon. I should tank one charge move here. They fire off a Psychic. Oh my goodness. They do not have last resort on the Umbreon and that is incredibly good for me as I'm not in a range where a Psychic or a Foul Play is gonna KO. So I can bring in my own Umbreon here and this is where if they had last resort, they could win the game, but they do not. The Foul Play will not cut it. I'm able to make it to the last resort. Last resort, KO is my opponent and that's a good game. We see a tough lead in the next match, Shadow Dawn Van into another Kofa Grigus. Same game plan as before, immediate save switch into Muck, and let's see what my opponent wants to do. They're staying in this matchup and firing off a charge move, so I will commit a shield, as I'm going to try keeping the Muck healthy. My opponent is now going to send in Vigoroth, so they very clearly do not have a good response to the Muck save switch whatsoever. I fire off the Dark Pulse, that's going to connect, and honestly here, I should bait with the Thunder Punch, because with a few more Poison Jabs, a Thunder Punch would KO anyway. But my opponent is going to commit the shield, and since I didn't bait, now I'm in a bit of an awkward spot. I decide to let this go. I'm just going to look for energy on the Shadow Dawn fan and hope that with the Vigoroth out of the way, the Umbreon can sweep in the back. Unfortunately, they do make a last second body slam and that's going to hurt. My opponent will fully wait the clock here as the switch timers were misaligned. And now in comes Kofa Grigus. I bring in Umbreon and it's a Shadow Shiny Machamp. And unfortunately, this is just looking like game over here. Not a whole lot I can do at this point. They go for the cross chop. That gets Umbreon low. I can return fire with the last Resort, the last resort will not cut it. Machamp able to tank it. They will get the counter down, and I can see the match. Hopping into the final match, we have same leads, Shadow Dawn fan into Kofa Grigus, and I'm looking for a bit of redemption. Again, I save switch into the muck. Kofa Grigus staying in this matchup. I did like shield in the muck, so I am going to shield it again. They go for the Dark Pulse, and they're gonna send in Vigoroth. This is looking like the same team that I just battled. However, last time I lost it, so this time I'm gonna try and play it a bit better. I go for the Dark Pulse, and this time I'm going for the Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch will not KO from here, but it would put them into farm down range, so they're forced to burn a shield. And now, the threat of a second Thunder Punch will force them to throw their energy. I commit the shield, they go for the Body Slam, I'm able to make it to the Thunder Punch and put pressure on that final shield. Thunder Punch will be shielded. My Switch Clog does come up at the perfect time and I'm able to make a catch onto the Shadow Dawn Fan. Shadow Dawn Fan will unfortunately not get the counter down as in comes Kofa Grigus. Coffin is forced to throw here as I would make an Earthquake that would KO. So they will fire off the Dark Pulse but now this gives me the opportunity that I need. I can use this as an opportunity to get a massive amount of farm on the Umbreon. I'm expecting there's the Machamp in the back but if I have an energy lead on the Umbreon I should hopefully be okay here. I'm going to fire off the foul play. I actually go for an undercharge here. And as you're going to see that undercharge gives me the perfect farm to leave with energy. Opponent can send in the Machamp, but this is a very different situation to last game. As now I have a big energy lead on the Umbreon. I go for the last resort. That is going to hurt. Farming up with the Umbreon, making it to another last resort. And this will get them deep into the red. I'm expecting my opponent to blind through the cross chop. So we switch into the muck and catch the cross chop and redemption is ours. Muck farms down the Vigoroth, and the opponent concedes a match. All in all, Shadow Dawn Fan is an absolute threat in this meta. It just shreds through so many common meta cores, and while it's not the tankiest Pokemon around, being able to pair it with a pretty flexible Pokemon like Kanto Muck and an absolute tank in Umbreon, this team worked extremely well for me, and I did have some members of my Discord try it as well, and they had similarly incredibly positive results. So if you're looking for a team to potentially 
climb a rank, make some progress in this season, then I definitely would recommend this team while the Monotype Cup is still here because this team was an absolute beast. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you is always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.